Good morning, kindergartners. So today is very interesting because I'm actually gonna give you a choice. You're either gonna watch today's video, this video, I should say, <clears throat> or the, <coughs> sorry, my throat, or the other video because I have two different stories that I'm gonna read. Um, they're both the same story that I've already read this week, but different versions of it. So this version, oh, well, first we'll do the funny unicornness. And I forgot our whole intro. Oh my goodness, I just jumped right into it. Hello, hey there, hi there, ho there. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, 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 welcome to kindergarten today, Friday. It's finally Friday. Um, <clears throat> Okay, like I mentioned, so I'm recording <laughs> two lessons, this one and then another one that'll have a different intro and a different story. You can watch both if you want, like that's cool. That makes me feel loved and appreciated or just pick what's your favorite version. It's done super, it'll go right in. But before we get into that, we are gonna talk about, from our big book of knowledge, beginning sounds. So beginning sounds is the first sound that I say. I know, this is something we haven't practiced in a while, but we're gonna do our best. So listen, I'm gonna say words and you're gonna tell me if they have, you're gonna tell me the first sound in the word. Sorry, it's confusing when they first introduce. Okay, ready, here we go. Um, mug, tell me the first sound in mug. Mmm, very good. And mad. What's the first sound in mad? Mmm, excellent. Let's try some more words. Ran. What is the first sound in ran? Er. Top. What is the first sound in top? T. Excellent. Rug. What is the first sound in rug? Jet. What is the first sound in jet? J. His. What is the first sound in his? <sighs> That's right. Jug. What is the first sound in jug? J. Fit. What's the first sound in fit? Did I say his? His, what's the first sound in his? <sighs> That's right, sorry. My brain is doing that thing again where I have like 10,000 tabs open. So I'm like, stay focused, stay focused. Um, fit, what's the first sound in fit? <sighs> bug, bug, b, good job. Fall. What's the first sound in fall? Um, pot. What is the first sound in pot? P. Wish. What is the first sound in wish? W. Hen. Tell me the first sound in hen. <sighs> and web. Very good. I know that was super long and then for a second I was like, am I recording? Ah, yeah, okay, I am. Sometimes I forget to hit that button. You know how it goes. Say, I can <laughs> identify the first sound in a word. All right, let's get started with our story. So this story is The Little Red Hen. I know we read The Little Red Hen on Monday, but this is a different version of The Little Red Hen. So um, that's the thing with these folk tales and fables is that they are, can be retold. So different people, so not like authors, kind of like authors, but they're not the author because they're not the one who thought of the story. They're just telling the story their way. So they're borrowing the story, right? So our title is The Little Red Hen. The title is the name of the book and it tells us what the story is about. I'm not gonna ask for a prediction because we kind of know, but um, retold by award-winning author. Ooh, how nice would it be to put that in front of your name? 
Introducing your award-winning teacher, Mrs. Weber. That's pretty fancy. <laughs> Retold by award-winning author, Carol Autolingai. Oh, that Carol. Goals, am I right? Illustrated by Reggie Holiday. Oh, that's a fun name. I really have the little red hat. Once upon a time, a little red hen lived on a farm with a dog, a pig, and a cow. The little red hen grew flowers to make into special teas. The dog, the pig, and the cow lazed about in the warm sun. They ate and slept and watched the little red hen work in her garden. All right, so already we can tell that this story is different because um, our characters are different. We have the little red hen, a dog, a pig, and a cow. And in our first story, we had the little red hen, a dog, a cat, and a mouse. So we have two different characters. You guys seem so far away. Let's see, I'm afraid my iPad's gonna fall. The little red hen scratched the ground every morning looking for her breakfast. One day, she dug up some grains of wheat. Look, she squawked to the other animals. If we plant this grain, we'll have bread with our tea. So there's something different too, is that um, she wants to make bread. Whereas the, the red hen in the first story, she wanted to make cake. And bread is still delicious too. Carbs all the way is what I say. Who will help me plant the grain? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the dog. I'm gnawing this bone. Not I, said the pig. I'm stirring the mud. Not I, said the cow. I'm swatting flies with my tail. The little red hen sighed a little sigh. I guess I'll have to plant it myself, she said. And she did. So that's a similarity, right? The animals still don't want to help. So she's like, I'm going to have to do it by myself. And sometimes that's how you get stuff done. It just takes a long time. All summer long, the little red hen watered and weeded her wheat. But the dog, the pig, and the cow always said they were too busy to help. There she is working hard. And they're nowhere to be seen because they're hardly working. <laughs> By the end of the summer, the wheat stood tall and golden. It was ready to be cut and threshed. That is some tall wheat. Look at, I like how she's like, look at my wheat. It looks so neat. <laughs> Who will help me cut and thresh the wheat? The little red hen asked the other animals. Not I, said the dog. It's nap time. <sighs> Not I, said the pig. There are new apples to eat in the orchard. Not I, said the cow. I'm chewing my cud. The little red hen sighed a big sigh. <sighs> I guess I'll have to thresh it myself, she said. And so she did. She cut the wheat with her sharp beak. Then she tried she, sorry. Then she tied it into bundles and shook loose all the grains. The little red hen looked, loaded the wheat grains into a wheelbarrow. It would be nice to have, help, have some help pushing this to the mill, she thought. Who will help me take the grain to the mill? The little red hen asked the other animals. Not I, said the dog. Oh, I have to guard the farm. Not I, said the pig. I can't walk that far. Not I, said the cow. I would get lost. Gosh, these animals are so lazy, it's even making me tired. The little red hen, hen humphed a little humph. I guess I'll have to take it myself, she said, said and so she did. So there she is. Doing all the work still. 
she planted the seeds and she grew the wheat. She what threshed it. I think that was like cut it down. Now she's gonna go grind it up. Yeah, take the grain to the mill. At the mill, she poured the grain between the millstones. The stones turned round and round, grinding the grain into soft, powdery flour. Okay, we definitely know this is a fantasy story because how is this guy helping the chicken and not thinking like, that's weird, a chicken is asking to grind some wheat. <laughs> and she's wearing a little outfit. Interesting. The road looked, sorry, <laughs> The road back to the farm was dusty and the wheelbarrow was heavy, but the little red hen forgot her tired wings every time she imagined how scrumptious her fresh baked bread would taste. When she got back to the farm, she asked the other animals, who will help me bake some bread? Not I, said the dog, I don't know how to cook. Not I, said the pig, I have to curl my tail. Not I, said the cow. I'm too big for the kitchen. The little red hen humphed a big hm. I guess I'll have to bake it myself, she said. And so she did. These animals are so rude. I know we talked about this the first time, but like, just so rude and inconsiderate. They'd rather sit around and do nothing, which sometimes is great. But if you see someone who needs help, I mean, come on. The little red hen made bread dough by mixing the flour with some salt, water, and yeast. After the dough rose, she put it in the oven to bake. Soon, a warm, fragrant smell filled the farmyard. <clears throat> the little red hen pulled the loaf out of the oven. The outside of the bread was crusty and golden brown. The little red hen knew the inside would be white and chewy and delicious. So she did all that work and now she made her bread. <clears throat> Who will help me eat this bread? The little red hen asked the other animals. I will, said the dog. Watch the farm is hungry work. I will, said the pig. Though that wonderful smell makes my mouth water. I will, said the cow. I'm finished with my nap. The little red hen shook her head. No, you won't, she said. Good for her. <laughs> She's just like, hmm. Smell this bread, because you ain't never going to get this. <laughs> Why not, asked the other animals. You would not help me plant the grain, said the little red hen. You would not help me cut and thresh the wheat. You would not help me take the wheat to the miller. You would not help me bake the bread. So you are not going to help me eat the bread either. And I will eat the bread myself. Look at their faces. And like, <laughs> um, <laughs> look, <laughs> look at that too. She's like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I love it. And with a nice cup of tea, she did, oh, <laughs> So this story ended up <laughs> different because she left with some sass. She was like, <laughs> what a hen. I almost said a chicken, but what a hen. She was like, smell this bread because you will never eat this. <laughs> and then here she is, tea time for one. The other story, she gave them a chance to redeem themselves and help her make the next cake. <laughs> this, this hen's like, uh. <laughs> all right well i hope you enjoyed this story this uh another this other version of our story and uh i'm i'm gonna try to put a seesaw activity up so check your seesaw and see if it's there and yeah and if you would like you can listen to our next story which would be just a different version of stone soup it's a very fun version but thanks for following along joining us and tuning in and i will see you soon Bye.